Hello everybody, welcome to Set Matrix. My name is Faisal and today I am going to talk about NAC accreditation and the benefits of joining top NAC accredited college or the university. Well, I am sure most of you might have heard about NAC accreditation and even some of you might know the benefits of joining top NAC accredited college or the university. So today in this video, I am going to talk about NAC accreditation in detail. NAC or the National Assessment and Accreditation Council was established in the year 1994 by UTC as an autonomous body. The basic function of uh, NAC is to accredit colleges and universities and to further provide them consulting and advisory on uh, further improvement. Basically, uh, NAC evaluates and certifies the colleges and, and the universities and UTC uses it as a reference point to grant uh, to allow them grants and further uh, give them autonomous status in india basically nac uh, is an integral uh, part of the functioning of higher education and uh, getting nac accreditation is mandatory for all the higher education institutions and furthermore uh, ugc will allow the grants to the university only if they are nac accredited Basically, uh, this accreditation that is NAC evaluates the uh, quality of the institutions on a lot of parameters including uh, teaching, research, extracurricular activities, co-curricular activities, uh, innovation, student success, education pedagogy and uh, learning. Uh, if you see higher education institutions with top NAC grade uh, status like A, A double plus or A plus uh, are the most soft after institutions both by the students as well as companies. Uh, the NAC accreditation for the colleges and the universities is a three step process and uh, once the colleges or the universities applies for the NAC accreditation, the NAC will allow them scores based on a lot of parameters and uh, once uh, the assessment is done then they will allow them scores uh, if, the, if the institute or the university uh, receives a score of 3.51 to 4 then they will be uh, graded as a double plus and if the institution receives a score of 1.51 to 2 then they will be graded as c all the institutions or the uh, universities who didn't opt it for uh, nac uh, accreditation then they are graded as d now, the next big question is why join a top NAC accredited college or the university? So, first we will see all the list of uh, NAC accredited college or the university. If you see the community list of all the NAC accredited colleges or the universities in India, then almost 1100 colleges or the universities opted for NAC accreditation, out of which almost 200 universities and uh, over 1500 colleges receive NAC A grade, uh, NAC, uh, A -grade accreditation. So now coming to the key benefits of joining top NAC, uh, NAC great college. The first and foremost benefit is the placement. If you see it, all the top NAC great colleges are most uh, in demand colleges by the companies because uh, this top great colleges signifies the high, uh, high quality of teaching, high quality of uh, uh, research and high quality of innovation. The second uh, good thing is that about higher education and further education. If you join any top NAC grade college or the university, then there is a huge chance that for your further education, for your higher education, uh, you will be accepted by top universities uh, in some different countries. Basically, if you see uh, the other uh, basic, all the top ranked universities from different countries like USA, UK, European Region, and uh, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, they give a lot of prominence to the students who, who are from. Uh, the top grade colleges. The third uh, good thing is about the exchange program. Most of the top NAC grade college or the universities they have a lot of exchange program with the various universities. So there is a huge chance that if you are studying from top NAC grade college then you either will be you will receive uh, a dual degree or you will uh, spend a uh, module or a semester in some different country or with some different university. And furthermore, uh, this will help you in interacting with uh, students from different universities and even from different nations. Now the next big question is how to see the accreditation or how to uh, of the university or college and how to see the grade of uh, that particular college. As a student, if you want to know the accreditation of the college uh, or the university before applying, then you can do the same by visiting the NAC accreditation dashboard in the NAC website. In the dash in the dashboard, you can see the list of all the colleges and the universities 
who got NAC accreditation and as well as you can select uh, categorically based uh, on uh, state university, based on central university, based on the assessment cycle. Now the big question is uh, about cycles of accreditation. Uh, basically all the highlighting uh, or higher education institutions who undergo NAC assessment uh, for the first, first time is referred as cycle 1 and uh, the consequently uh, of the NAC, there is a NAC uh, uh, revaluation every 5 years so this will be counted as cycle 2 and cycle 3 and so on. Sometimes most of the universities will go for NAC reassessment and uh, they will be, uh, the NAC will put them as a reassess. Basically, most of the universities or the colleges, once they uh, upgrade their infrastructure or the teaching quality or the research quality, then they will apply for NAC uh, reassessment. And if uh, the uh, NAC body or the NAC uh, panel is satisfied, then they will be uh, awarded with higher grades. So, guys, this is a brief about NAC area uh, about uh, NAC and why one should join NAC top NAC grade college. I hope you like this video and if you like this video please press the like and share button and uh, if you have any queries do share your concerns in the comment section and if you like my work please support me by clicking the subscribe button thank you stay blessed